Let us continue playing Qdelka. Um, final bit of equipment um, sorting out, I should probably think about. I know I did this last time. Oh, water element. Uh, it's a more powerful weapon. So we're going to equip the water rapier onto you, and then... We'll wait on them giving you an axe. But for now, let's just continue onwards. So we're in the first floor of a dungeon where I'm going to have to give you a creepy little girl alert. Let's go over here. Hey. Hey. Wait a minute. Hey! Edward! You should have just died before. I wanted you to lay down and die. <laughs> A ghost? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Creepy little girl moment over. Unfortunately, that won't be the last we see of her. So, um, we can't really go down there just yet. So instead, let's go this way. Where? There is stuff. Yeah, there's also a pile of corpses. Nice. And in here, there is a box with a four-digit combination lock. However, we don't know what it is, so we'll go with that. Nope. So Mayor Need didn't um, set that up anyway. My goodness. This building is full of dead bodies and skeletons. It's full of ghosts and spirits. Oh, I can feel them. Oh, my head hurts. I got a bad feeling about this. Understatement of the year. Dear Lord, please save these lost souls. This must have happened a long time ago. Oh, and the power is so strong. If I can channel some of these spirits, maybe I can find out what happened here. Channel the spirits? Shame on you! You two should be praying for their souls! The spirits floating in this room. I can let them possess my body so they can talk. Oh, the reason I came here is I heard the cry of one particular female voice. She was... I will not stand for this! Not only do you not believe in God, but now you're going to disturb the spirits? Shut up! Would you stop bothering me? Oh, oh. Chains and darkness. Oh, oh. death. Oh, oh no. Oh. oh, there were so many of them. This is. What's going on? Oh, they were imprisoned and tortured and oh, thousands of them. Kill them! They cut off my fingers. They crushed my legs. They smashed my head and cut out my guts. They took everything from me. They locked me up and chopped my body. Oh, my eyes! Oh, my ears! Oh, they're burned! Help! Help! How horrible. This place used to be a prison for hundreds of years kept in secret 
Whoever went against the authorities or misconducted themselves in any way were locked up here and killed. No! Don't touch me! You piss off! Go to hell! <laughs> well. I wonder if he still believes they're a kind old couple. Well, they're not the first to do it, anyway. Bed is covered in dust. And there's an encounter over here. But apparently no items, which is what I was looking for. Ah, more furniture on the attack. So, let's cast our spells, because we have mana points now. Meanwhile... Great. Do, do, do. And you're taking a bit of a beating there, so we're going to get um, James to heal you, I think. You're silenced, but that doesn't bother you too much anyway. Fireball! Ooh, that did a lot more damage now. Ah, that's a good little J ring we've got now. I think the spell is actually worthwhile. And you get the next one. Because you can do your healing being a bit more powerful than that. In the meantime. You might as well continue attacking that thing. And the chairs fall through the ground. Ow. Well, from a party point of view, at the very least, the speeds appear to be more or less the same now. And that should finish that off. The other advantage of the J-Ring we attached, of course, is that Kudelka is now virtually immune to everything, magic-wise. Right. Let's raise the piety back up, vitality up, and then a couple of points of dexterity just to try and balance strength and dex there. So, let's just quickly check whether we need healing. Nope, we're okay. We see a closet. Do we want to open the closet? Eh, not really. There's a mummy dressed in a wedding dress inside the closet. It opens his eyes and attacks. Or just falls on top of us, but I think this one actually is attacking. Right. No, we don't want to shoot that. We want to blast it with magic. I wonder if anything's to control us being a bit weird at the moment. Come on. Oh. Duh. Yeah, it's the control that's being weird. Let's see if I can go. Ah! Come on. Right. Magic? There, go. Right, now Infuria should be alright from here, I think. But we'll save state just in case. Right, action. To move you. To in range and go rapier. Oh, no, a... I'm going to unplug the control button for the next video, I think. More trouble than it's worth at the moment. Right. If 
don't think my nail have actually frozen, which is annoying if it has. Load right, up from here. Right, give me two moments here while I sort out the configuration. Right, let's see if I can get this working now, or whether that's actually done anything. Right, use the rapier. That's a bit better. Right, now I'm going to clobber you with the pipe. If Dudo is sorted anything, the lead pipe is a good weapon. And that's a reasonable amount of flame damage. Let's wait. We cast a spell at Kudelka and it does one damage. Must be a white mage. Flare. Just a normal attack from you. Yeah, I'm thinking the water elements on the rapier is actually killing it. It's a weapon. This is an effective one. Still, it'll be useful against some things. use the heal to heal Kidoka's one point of damage, but there are limits to useless moves. Let's attack. Go and cast your spell, it won't help you. At least not if you're aiming at Kidoka's head. Maybe the Edward might get something. Nope, you missed. And now you're going to burn an eight. Wait, you're running away. But that ultimately does not save you. Victory is ours! Any leveling? Yes. Right. Kudelka really needs some boost in hit points. In fact, it's almost worth throwing that level away just to do this. Yeah. Right, you need a piety boost quite urgently. Then we'll just go strength and dex. Right, raise your piety to 22. Raise your intelligence and your mind, and we'll give the additional point to agility. And we get a ring. And we learn the spell Megalith that we won't be using. Almost at all. Right, let's just check what, how powerful that ring is. Uh, plus three, plus seven, plus four. It's also water aligned. But we will give that ring to you. Because that will give you more mana points and increase your power of your spells slightly. Could have been better. But we'll live with that, I think. So, oh actually, the whole point of that boss fight and I missed it. This time when we go to the closet, we will open it, a mummy will not fall out on us, and we will pick up a rope ladder. Now we can follow the creepy ghost girl. Not that we really want to, but that's what we're going to do nonetheless. Right. Use the rope ladder, climb down. Okay. Now is there anything interesting over here? Well there's an encounter, but that's not that interesting really. And it's thing and a corpse. Well, I think I'm going to burninate the corpse. I leave you to actually just move into position. So you are now blocking him off, unfortunately. So you can cast heal for the 
sake of casting heal. Once he's mastered all the healing, we will have him learning, or at least doing the fortify spells. But I think healing's a more a more important priority at this stage, especially given how slow he is anyway. And the corpse has been well and truly burninated. Wait for the spell to be cast. That's much better. Healing her nearly 300 now. And I boosted his piety last level as well, so that works out quite nicely. And the thing is dead. I'm sure it won't be the last of them. Changes level up, so we shall go strength, vitality, dexterity, agility. One of each, and then his next level in theory should be a. Um... Oh, we find some cheese. I like cheese. Not as much as some people, admittedly, but I like cheese. So we head over this way, which leads us to the door. Something is not right. So what I'm actually going to do is see if there's anything down here. What is down here is a body and some pistol rounds. Not that we've been using the gun an awful lot, actually. We might do later. Oh no, there's yet more stuff. You find dried food. Okay, let's go and see what's not right. Something is definitely not right here. Now if we go over here, we find... Come on. A red glass part. Let's step onto here. That proves to be an error. As now you must fight... Three people who look... Very familiar, it has to be said. So what we're going to do cast Flare at him, because I think he's got lower magic resistance than the other two. Meanwhile, I shall have you go off and slice. You know, at the very least, water hurts them. If it healed them, I'd have to um, work some other things out. Right, let's whack you over the head with a lead pipe. That didn't do an awful lot, but it's good enough. Right, Magic Blast does nearly 500 damage. Doesn't finish him. Let's move you over here. So keeping the party separated for now. Right, so you get punched for 90. Oops, sorry, punched for nearly 90. That's not going to work on Pudelka. Not anymore. Far too much magic resistance at the moment. That's in the ability to dodge magic as well, seemingly. Right, we'll attack Kudelka. Or the spirit of Kudelka, anyway. So, unfortunately, we'll push her back. Magic flare. Right, because I don't think you've got much left, I'm going to attack Kudelka with the lead pipe. So I think the magic spell should be enough by itself. Though that thinking has had <laughs> has given you another 90 damage almost. So I'd better be right about it. Yep, I was right. Wait. And the spell is cast and hurts both of them because they're standing next to each other. Whoops. The James isn't too badly hurt by that. Right, action, attack. Wait. 
spell casting. Thankfully it's at Kudelka. And it misses again. Right. Let's cast Flare at you actually. Edward attacks. And Kudelka is defeated. Then we shall move you a bit closer. Start casting some heals. I'll heal you because you're at most at risk from other spells. <laughs> then we'll move you to there. But that might be because... Oh, it's because it's holding a water ring. Ah! Anyway, flare. Doing a lot, but not quite enough yet. Right. Edward, slash him. We have defeated the ghostly apparitions of ourselves. Which, if you remember from last time... Oh, we level up. Right. Might be worth... Right. Let's do that. She needs more hit points at this stage, and... She's got a plus six in agility because of a weapon. So that's alright. You need piety boost, uh, vitality boost, strength dex. Right, we get an icon's earring, panacea, high potion, and we learn the revive spell. And now we can save the game again. So, let's save here. And so, rather quicker than I thought I'd manage it. Oh, cutscene. Did you see all those bodies? Be quite a party if they were alive. They've probably been abandoned for hundreds of years. Must be some fascinating old stories. I saw some pretty fresh ones, too. One who was shot. One who'd been cracked in the head with an axe. And some with no visible signs of injury. They must have been poisoned. I bet the new ones were fortune seekers like us. That old couple must You mean to tell me they killed all those people? Rubbish! All those he is still defending are them. Rubbish? They're all liars and thieves anyway. This is still a monastery. This is still God's house, prison or no. Why all those liars and heathens are killed is none of my concern. How could you possibly say a thing like that? Very that doesn't easily. sound very priestly. I am not a priest. I am a bishop. I don't give a no, rat's apologies. ass what you are. Look, I'm not saying that all of those people were saints, okay? But that doesn't mean that they should be put to death. You saw that old couple. They're so well-mannered, kind. <laughs> you think they're killers? Good manners? Yes. Think about it. Why would they leave the place such a mess? I don't know. You think they'd at least bury the body? Possibly. Anyway, I have this strange feeling we're not alone with all these bodies and ghosts. You'd better keep your mouth shut. If you want to live. Good advice. And I apologize. It is, he is a bishop. But, now let's go through this door. And now let's take a few steps to the right. Kudelka, did you find anything? No. 
Nothing, but... That is robbery convenient. Who's that? No idea. Well, we got to where we ended the session. And is um, my first let's play, and rather quickly actually. So, next time we continue playing Q Delka. Until then. <laughs>